this is a dynamic stretching strap. It's used for treating plantar fasciitis. Essentially, uh, this is used to stretch your Achilles. So, um, it's not a stretchy strap, as you can see. You can get these online. They're typically around ten to fifteen dollars. What I like is for people to put it at the bottom, at the ball of the foot, and then find a comfortable position with the loopholes where you can really get an effective pull. And um, you want the second toe lined up with the shin, the front high part of the shin. So sometimes you have to turn your foot in. You do not want your foot out here when you're pulling back. Uh, that won't help you as much. So you really want your second toe lined up with the shin and then uh, pull back on the foot for about 20 seconds or so and repeat that about 20 to 30 times a day. The other thing to make note of is you want your knee perfectly straight. Uh, if you bend the knee that reduces the um, the pulling effect on one of the muscles that make up the Achilles. Uh, so the majority of people that have plantar fasciitis, many of them have it from a tight uh, Achilles. So you should have at least about 15 to 20 degrees of bend at the ankle, which, uh, which we have right now. So uh, if you are pulling your foot back and you only see, you know, about a 90 degree angle right there, that's not enough. That means your calf is too tight and you need to work on that flexibility to be able to pull it back. Um, that pretty well does it for the stretching exercise for the Achilles. Uh, if people want to get a little more of a pull, you can go to the very back of these uh, loops and lay down and use your body as leverage to pull on the strap if your arms are getting tired doing it. So you don't necessarily have to pull with your arms. The next muscle group I like to uh, stretch for plantar fasciitis is the hamstrings. Uh, I know that seems a long ways off from the plantar fascia, but many times the uh, overtraining will cause a tight calf and tight hamstrings. That can cause altered gait, which typically lead to the overuse injury of plantar fasciitis. So to stretch the hamstrings, we use the dynamic stretching strap and keep the foot pulled back just like you were stretching your calf, find a comfortable position where the loopholes are on the stretching strap. Go ahead and find one, anywhere you want. And you're going to lift the leg with the strap as high as you can go. And again, you want to try to achieve about a 90 degree angle to your body. Um, the other thing to make note of on that when you're stretching, uh, if there's tight hamstrings, some people find it easier when they turn their leg out to the side to raise it up higher. I don't want people to do that. I want you to keep your foot pointing straight in line with the rest of your body. Um, and that's, that's something I think that's important to make note of. Um, and you do the same type of a hold 20 seconds uh, and repeat it about 15 or 20 times.